This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This one's on Nerds Empire Avenue email tracking. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. When you first join Empire Avenue, you're going to start getting emails. You're going to be notified when people buy your shares, when they leave you a shout out. And all kinds of other things can happen that can cause Empire Avenue to send you an email. So what do you do? Well, I'm sure if you go into your settings here, you can probably make some adjustments as far as here, notifications and settings, what you, email, uh, what you receive emails for. To be honest with you, I haven't changed them because I use it as part of my tracking mechanism in Empire Avenue. But at the same time, I don't want them cluttering up my inbox because I have a business to run and all day long I receive emails from clients and important things. Not that Empire Avenue is not important, but the business takes priority, obviously, especially during working hours. And so I don't want a flood of these emails coming in and, and cluttering up my inbox. So. I've created a filter because I use Gmail to grab all of my email. You can use Gmail to grab your POP3 email. So if you have your own email at yourdomain.com, you can set up Gmail to receive that email. That's what I've done with my nerdenterprises.com email. I like it because it's in the cloud and I've got a video on that which you can find and, and watch if you're interested in learning how to do that. But Gmail or Outlook for sure both have similar features in terms of being able to control where emails go when you receive them. In Gmail it's called creating a filter. In Outlook it's called uh, setting up a rule. You have a rules wizard and you create a rule. Now in Outlook you have folders and in Gmail you have labels. Same concept. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a filter that essentially says and here's where I have to check the information before I'm setting up a filter in Gmail so I know how to set it up because I have to tell Gmail exactly how to behave. When you receive an email, what does it need to look for so that it knows, okay, this is an email from Empire Avenue, which means I want it to skip the inbox and go right to the label Empire Avenue. You want to find something that's always going to be consistent. So usually it's going to be the email that it comes from. In this case, accounts at empireavenue.com. And I can actually, while I've got that highlighted, press Control C. I can go to create a filter, which is right up there in the top and I can paste that in. So I'm saying anytime I receive an email from accounts at empireavenue.com go to the next step and I'm going to say skip the inbox right here I can choose to mark it as read, I don't because I want to know which ones I've read and which ones I haven't and then here I'm going to want to apply the label Empire Avenue. Now I'm not going to actually do this because I've already done it but I wanted you to see how it was done. Now Microsoft Outlook has a similar thing with a rules wizard where you can create a rule and you walk through its wizard and it takes you step by step where you can designate that any email coming from that email address gets filed in the folder Empire Avenue immediately. And this way what I can do now is I can go into my Empire Avenue folder once a day or actually I don't even get to this every day to be honest with you. I just have too many things to do. But uh, also because the first thing and I mentioned this in a previous video the first thing I do when I'm using up my eaves and buying shares back in people is I go through my shout outs. These are the people who have interacted with me. These are the first ones that I'm going to uh, look to buy shares back in. Then I go to my emails and I start with the oldest emails. So I go right now I've got 341 emails in my Empire Avenue label. I'm going to go all the way to the end and I'm because I want to start with the oldest first. And anytime I see that somebody's purchased me, or especially if I see it says they've left a shout out, because I may have missed their shout out when I'm going through the, the ones on my page, these are the people I'm going to buy first. And I've employed the philosophy that I'm not necessarily going to pay that much attention to well, do they have a good dividend, do they have a good return on investment. That's just not my strategy. A lot of people, you know, uh, sort of micromanage the details of the people they invest in. I don't care. If you're willing to engage in me, if you're willing to uh, communicate with me, because to me it's social, that's what it's really all about, then my expectation or my guess is that your share price, your dividends, all that's going to come into play eventually if you're actually engaging, if you're one of those people who's active on all the social sites. So this is what I do. I get the emails filed, get them out of the way. This way I can reserve the times that I want to spend following up on my Empire Avenue activity and this way I can, I can manage it using the email, using the filter and go through it from the oldest first 
and I'll start going in and I'll see this person for example it says left a shout out so I'm going to click through go to the profile and I'm going to see I already own 100 shares in this person great and the thing is I don't want to just max out on everyone because I want to make sure I have enough eaves to go around so I can buy back as many people as possible in fact I'm at a point now I, I was maxing out on everyone for a while and then I'd run out and wait till I got more eaves to buy more I'm not doing that anymore what I'm gonna do is probably start actually investing just 25 50 shares a person so I can spread it out a little further and then as more eaves come in I can go back and buy more shares in people in fact that's a perfect reason why I've set up all the tracking that I've set up and that you saw in the previous videos using my uh, Microsoft Excel template and using Evernote to keep track of the people that I want to especially if I want to make sure that I get back to somebody and buy more shares in them when I have more eaves that's a perfect uh, way to keep them and of course Empire Avenue you know has the lists you could put them on right here so I can go to manage lists here and I can favorite them, friend them, recommend, whatever it is. But these are their own preset lists. So uh, I can use those. But like I said in the previous video, I like to use Evernote because I can be detailed, write notes, and you know, kind of track it my own way, not necessarily the way Evernote expects me to. So that, my friends, is it on how I use the email system for tracking and for managing all of this. As always, if you have any questions, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web. This has been a special presentation from Nerd Enterprises Incorporated on Nerds Empire Avenue email tracking. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me right now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session so you can review it as often as you like afterwards.